All right, guys, RC Jerry here. I'm here with Sebastian and Grayson. It's Saturday. We're driving home from Hobbytown, Temecula, and I'm pretty excited. Today in the mail, I got my new Hobby Star 1730 KV motor in my new Hex 8 ESC. So um, I'm ready to throw that into the crate, and I needed them to, to solder an extension to get the cables a little longer. And I hooked on some EC5 connectors for my batteries, and I am ready to race the crate around and do some jumps. So I'm going to go home and do some wrenching and get that motor installed, and then I'll pop back up on the video, and we'll see what kind of running it's got going on with it. So I look forward to doing that, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. All right, guys, as I'm here watching the Western Conference Final Game 1 and working on my arm of Creighton, <clears throat> just wanted to show you guys so far what I've done. So as you can see, what is missing here is the motor. So I've taken the BLX um, 2050 KV Arma Creighton motor out. And just wanted to show you guys a little size comparison on the two motors before I get going any further. So let's turn the laptop. Okay, as you can see, even with the, um, with the motor mount on there, the motor is still smaller. So, yeah, let's do it like this. So there's a look at the two motors. You know, they don't look too different except the size is just way different. And don't get me wrong, this motor is bitching. This thing is freaking awesome. But I'm just ready to throw in the Hobby Star. So, um, yeah, this baby's going in, and it's going to have an 18, maybe 19 tooth pinion, depending on temperatures I get. That's right there is a Robinson Racing 14 tooth pinion. And, yeah, so... Next thing I'll do, you know, I took the receiver box off, unplug the fan, which is connected to this. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll take the fan off, I'll take the motor mount off, and I'll replace everything onto this, onto the new motor, and that'll be the next step. And then right after that will be the ESC. So I'll keep you guys posted. All right. All right, guys. As you can see. Here's the old BLX motor, fans re removed, everything's removed. There's the motor mount, that awesome slidey motor mount that the Armour Creighton has, which is going to be cleaned up, but this is just a beautiful, awesome piece of um, equipment that comes on this truck. I love being able to just slide that motor right out of that little slot right there. That's just amazing. It's easy to set your mesh, it's easy to do everything. So, um, yeah, so here's the... Here's the new Hobby Star 1730 with the fan on it. I just got to put one more set of zip ties on the, the bottom side. But yeah, everything's starting to come into place. All right, guys. I'll be back. All right, guys. Now it's about maybe 30, 40 minutes later. I've run into some roadblocks. But we have got the motor into the Creighton. Still watching the game one of the conference finals. We're beating the St. Louis Blues five to three. Empty net. Oh yeah, we just won the game. That makes it six to three. That's my boys. But back to the point. You guys don't want to see that. Some of you guys might, but let's go back to the Creighton. So let me pull this thing out and let me show you guys what I'm working with and what issue I've run into. Hi right, guys. So as you know, the, the Creighton V4 has this kind of sliding motor mount, and it's almost as if the motor mount holes in the 1730 Hobby Star are not the exact same size as the motor mount holes in the, yeah, the motor mount holes. So you can get one bolt or screw flush all the way in there, but you cannot get both flush in there so see if I can focus down on that see how that one is kind of sitting up a little bit it will do the trick but I don't like it like that so I'm gonna take it into the hobby shop oh we got a fight going on alright so it's over but yeah so the um the flushness is a little worrisome for me, but, you know, it's in there really tight. 
I got one flush, one not flush. But yeah, so fans mounted, motor mounts mounted. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out the BLX ESC. I'll just take that to Hobby Town to make it look tomorrow and just um, see what they can do for me. See if they can get that screw in there all the way. But um, if anybody has any ideas, let me know. All right, um, let me do some more work and I'll be back. All right, guys, we now have the, the old BLX 185 ESC taken out of the Creighton. And um, as you can see, it's still in perfect condition. I'm thinking about putting this in my wrestler with the BLX um, 2050 KV motor. So I'm turning my wrestler VXL into a drag racer. So yeah, since I got that extra extension on the motor cables, <clears throat> I should be able to fit the ESC facing that way and the cables will come up and over and plug into that side. I just gotta figure out a good place to put the um, the button, and it would just be better off based off what I see when I put it the other way. So I'm gonna do some Philly farting around and see what I can do as far as placement. Then I'm gonna start putting things together and see where it goes from there. And um, we're getting closer and closer to getting this baby in. So give me a little bit more time, and I'll come back and show you where I'm at. All right. All right, YouTube, RCJ here. Here's another little segment of the video. I got the whole thing set up properly. I got the batteries hooked up on 6S. Um, I just recently, uh, maybe five minutes ago, <clears throat> calibrated the ESC with the radio. Got my Spectrum DX5C. And um, it's working like a charm. And uh, one thing I noticed, I don't know what effect this has, but... Now that I have this set up on, I know it's not the motor, but the ESC, my steering is a lot faster. And I don't know what makes that happen, but it just seems a lot more powerful. It's do it's putting more power into my servo. So um, maybe you guys can explain to me why that is, but let's let's turn around and see what we got going on. Got six beeps. I'm like, watch this thing. The steering is a lot. That's great. It's got a lot of torque. I'm not going to push it too hard right now because I want to keep my um, my blue thread locker setting on my pinion gear because I learned my lesson the last time using my BLX uh, 2050 KV motor that when you go ripping right after the fact, um, it will take your pinion gear right off. So you want to use some blue thread locker and get that thing set. But uh, I'm going to do some programming so. Pretty much the way you program this thing is just like the the BLX 185. Let me turn this off. So any hobby wing ESC, I'm pretty sure is going to be similar. But over here, where I set my my buttons right here on the side, right below that red button, or in my case, it's behind it. You got a set button. So I'm going to hold down the set button. Then I'm going to turn on the ESC. See, that's your first option. And that, as the video earlier described, is going to be your running mode. And it's automatically set on option two, which is forward, reverse, and brake. So I can do either the auto or I can put it to 6S LiPo automatically. But yeah, that's how you do it. So I'm going to turn this off real quick and go to the next type. Alright guys, so that's just if you wanted to go to your first option, you just let go right after the first one. But if if you want to go down to your other options on your programming, like for instance, like I said earlier, I'm going to change my um, my my max brake force down to option 3 as, as opposed to option 4. 
So let me show you how I'm going to do that because that's what I'm used to. I'm used to in the 30s, in the 30% range on my brakes. So um, let me show you how I'm going to do that. So it says right here, your max drag force, your, your max brake force is going to be programmable item number eight. So we're going to wait till the eighth one. So check this out. Once again, you're going to hold your set button, turn the ESC on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to let that go. So that's showing option four because it beeped four times. So we're on, op we're on item eight and it's on option four. So like I said, that's going to be 50% as you see right there. 50% is what it comes stock with on option four on your max brake force. So what we're going to do is we're going to get it. We're going to press the set button until we get to option three. So I'm sure we're going to have to go through all the options. Then we're going to go back to one, two, and three and set it at 37.5%. So let's give it a shot. Alright. That's five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, one. So now, at this point, our brakes are set at only 12.5%, but I wanted 37%. So I'm going to go to option three. So I'm going to hit three more times, or two more times, actually, sorry. So two, three. And then when you when you're when you're happy with your setting that you do, you're gonna want to turn your car off. So now when I turn this back on, my brakes are gonna be set at 37.5%, which is option number three. Um, as far as anything else, let's check what we got on the list that we can add to the mix. But that's just an example of like how you would do it. You know, you you hold your set button until you get to the right option or to the right item which is that 1 through 11, and then you keep pressing the set button until you get to the right option. So, let's see. As far as, um, let's see what we got going on. If I wanted to change my punch level, we'll do that as one more, um, one more example. Say I wanted to change my punch level, and it's showing that on number 10, set at level 3. Say I wanted to set it to level 5. What I'm going to do is this. So, so once again, so that's that's programmable item number 10. So we're going to hold down the set button and turn on the ESC. One, so on and so forth. Four. That long beep is number five. Plus one, six. Plus two, seven. And so on and so forth. One, two, three, four. That's nine. That's ten. So have beep three times. That shows that we are on level three on our punch force. So if we want to go to level five, we're gonna press the set button once. One, two, three, four. And that long beep is number five. And then I would turn my ESC off. So now we're set on level five punch, which be is, is max punch. And um, <clears throat> that's going to haul ass. I'm on a 19 tooth pinion with a 1730 KV, the big motor. Yeah, um, I'm probably going to start it off on three or four and uh, just, just test the waters and go from there. But yeah, there's my new motor swap. Just wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm gonna mess around with some programmings and um, let my my thread locker set. The only thing I have to do left to like troubleshoot is go to the hobby shop and have them figure out what's up with that. 
that one screw in my motor mount. But as far as that, it's working perfect. And um, yeah, you guys have a wonderful night. Uh, can't wait to drive this thing in the morning. I might even take it for a quick spin. But like I said, I don't want to ruin my seal with my pinion gear. But yeah, have a good night, YouTube. Take care.